So I'm here at Dutch Bros, about to get a coffee. And then I'm just gonna do a video about uh, all my vehicles. I feel like I have some pretty uh, nice vehicles. And you know, I've had 30 or more vehicles between motorcycles and cars and stuff, and I'm really happy with the current stable, and, I, and it's here to stay for a while. So I'm just gonna do a video on the, on the three vehicles, starting with the beautiful open top Chevy Geo Suzuki Tracker. So I got this thing uh, basically for free because my grandma got dementia and uh, she can't drive anymore. However, when she had this thing, she never drove it. She bought it because she really liked it, but it was just never something that she actually put time into to drive. However, my grandmother was... Uh, nothing if not a studious about her vehicle's maintenance and so this thing was really well maintained I mean after sitting for like I think it sat for like six years and after sitting for six years uh, I went to go pull it out of her backyard and it had a uh, fresh oil fresh transmission fluid fresh air filters I mean you name it the suspension was all completely dialed so to get this thing running all i had to do was uh i threw about a whole bottle of stable in the gas tank because the gas had obviously been in there for quite a while and uh once i ran it on that stable then i just filled it up with gas and we were good to go i think jumper cables was like it um and finding the keys was was quite was probably the biggest challenge honestly was finding the keys uh but once we found the keys it was easy going my vehicles have to have a few different uh my vehicles have to have a few different, meet a few different requirements. You know, the first requirement that it has to meet is that it has to be easy to maintain. I maintain all of my own vehicles, so I don't want something that's a, that's a bear to maintain. The other requirement is that it has to be capable enough to handle off-road, you know, situations. And while this is not the four-wheel drive tracker, this is the two-wheel drive tracker, these things are very capable. Uh, you know because they're so lightweight and so I've seen two-wheel drive trackers do stuff that other four-wheel drives may not have been able to do just because they're so lightweight and the wheelbase is so small you know so getting up and down things is no problem and as soon as I got it I had some um, some tires laying around off of a truck that I used to have they were 285 75 15s and uh, which is like a 31 inch tire and I just was like joking around trying to see if I could throw it on to the uh, to the tracker and I could which was fantastic so that's what's on here and uh, I'm about to show you just what this thing can do you know another requirement that my vehicle has to have is that it has to be durable because I'm hard on my shit uh, only thing I'm not hard on is my wife's car and that's because I love her but other than that I'm hard on my shit and so uh, I'm gonna put this thing through its paces today you know I kind of I've got a few different spots around here that are like some urban off-roading spots um, that I just want to show you know people uh, and also like I said it's just gonna be a part of a, a three-part series where I just go through my cars and kind of take them through their paces um, talk a little bit about how I got them why I got them um, you know, I never wanted a Chevy tractor, but now that I have one, it's definitely like one of my top five favorite vehicles that I've ever had. And I've had some really awesome fucking vehicles. I've had a, fuck, I had a square body. I had a round I-80. I had a first gen Dodge that had like a Western Star extended cab with a flatbed on it. I mean, I've had some really cool vehicles. Um, but the tractor's one of them, dude. Because it's like all the things that you like about a motorcycle with the comforts of a car, you know? And maybe that's because I'm getting, uh, maybe that's because I'm turning 30 that I that I actually appreciate that because I don't know that I would have in the past. But uh, yeah, I really appreciate the fact that, that I've got the open top, you know, it's small enough to get in and out of places, like dodge, dodge around parking lots and whatnot. But, uh, you know, I'm sitting here talking to you on my phone 
at the same time. I like that. So anyway, I'm gonna take it over to a parking lot and kind of give you an outside view of it and then we're gonna go take it on some shit, take it on some trails. So here it is in all of its glory, the 1999 Chevy Tracker. Uh, I, this is the tires that I put on it. I had these laying around. Uh, they're actually 235, 75, 15s. And I had them uh, off of an old truck that I had. And now they're on here. I think before there was like 195s on it. So it was a much smaller tire. Now it looks like a micro machine. I threw a uh, front headlight on it and some bull bars. And that was about it. That's all I did to it. As you can see here, I've got it perched up on this pretty steep embankment and it is three-wheeling uh i'll show you fully flexed fully flexed and three wheel motion baby oh you just gotta love how light it is man i can't get enough of it so where we're about to go right now, I'm gonna try and see if I can like put the GoPro thing up in the corner so you can see where I'm driving through right now. But I found this on the motorcycle one day and uh, I found this on the motorcycle one day and it just absolutely floored me when I found it. because where I live is like kind of in the city. And so there's not a whole lot, I don't live a lot around like a lot of public land like I used to when I was in Colorado. Living in the van and stuff, you know, there's tons of public land and you could just kind of get lost anytime you wanted to. But around where I live now, um, it's not so simple. So when I find these little gyms, like where I'm at now, it makes my baby leap. I think this is like some kind of oil road. It goes back to like a natural gas pipeline or something, I don't know. Cause I've taken it all the way to the end and there is like a, a gate. Even on the motorcycle, this was intense. We haven't done that video yet, but you'll see, I've got a pretty uh, capable Enduro. And when I took the motorcycle on this, it was, it was a little exciting like some uh, some serious trail you know at least for like again where i live might be guys watching this that, like live in utah and are laughing and uh, i don't blame them hey i want to show you something check this out you see that yucca right there that right there it's a very particular type of yucca i think it's called yucca placera or platera and uh, it only grows in this region. And a fun fact about it is it, it does not pollinate. That's not how it gets its, uh, you know, self around. That's not how it spreads its seed. In fact, it has a moth that knows that that's the yucca that it belongs to. That moth doesn't go to other yuccas. It only goes to that particular type of species of yucca. And what it does is it goes in and it burrows into these little seeds that are inside of the, the stem, the stemata that comes up out of the middle of that yucca. And then it grows up, the little moth does, and it leaves, and that's how it gets its seed everywhere else. And this is actually a really dense population of this. Uh, typically you don't see that dense of a population of that particular type of yucca, but. So back to, back to what we were doing our little off-road adventure. Yeah, you know, that's one of the things that I really like about this car is how small it is. Because it just, it gives you the ability to get places that you couldn't go. You know, another thing is, is I got it for free. So I don't care about pinstripes and scratches on the paint. It's not like the paint's in any good kind of condition. You know, it's just, it's a car from 99 that I don't care about. Look at that, look at that. Y'all really can't appreciate how steep that incline is, but it's probably a good 30 degrees. 
and it just powered up. I don't even really think we slipped at all. Just kind of slow, low and slow, made it up. Holy cow. people's backyards right now <laughs> yeah it's so crazy man all right when i first found this spot there was people out here that uh were, like walking their dogs and stuff thankfully i wasn't in the car because i feel like that would have been a little more shocking i was on the motorcycle but we'll get out of here you know the average police response time is like 15 minutes so as long as you're in and out of somewhere you're gonna beat police response times, you know. As long as you're in and out in 15 minutes, you'll be good. I don't know if you can appreciate how steep this is, but I mean, just to give you some kind of awareness, look where those houses are. We're eye level with those houses. And we maybe be, we maybe traveled like, I don't know, 50 yards or something like that. Like it's, it's the, the elevation increase that happens in such a short distance is really incredible. It's so much fun. You know, there's, there's bigger four-wheel drives and there's uh, more capable four-wheel drive vehicles, but it's like uh, it's like going fast in a, in a golf cart, you know? It's more fun to go fast in a, in a slow car than it is to go fast in a fast car, you know? And it's kind of like this. Like, it's, it's just way more fun to go off-roading in a car that's really not meant for it, in a place that's really not meant for it. <laughs> uh, it's just so much fun, dude. It brings you so much joy. Because it's otherwise like not a thing you could do. I'm trying to think of what, I wouldn't do this in my truck. It's too wide, it's too long. I wouldn't be able to hit those switchbacks like I did. But in the tracker, no problem. Absolutely no problem. love it to death you know for such a small car it's got a 15 gallon tank that's like 300 miles range before before you fill up at about 20 miles to the gallon it's just a cool car man it's a cool car to have so this is one of the ones that's in my stable next week uh maybe next week i'll do a video about the uh the lexus gx 470 that i have that's an actual real off-road vehicle it's basically a if you don't know, it's a Land Cruiser Prado or, uh, you know, just a really capable Toyota Land Cruiser, but all the nice trim of a Lexus. So next week I'll do a video on the Lexus, but I wanted to show you guys the, uh, the 99 Chevy Tracker today. So that's going to do it. We'll see you in a week or so.